So in today's video, we're going to be talking about drawing straight and really good looking lines. Something that looks like this. As you can see, it's a really clean line. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now, uh, before we talk about the different techniques of like, drawing lines and stuff, first, we're going to have to make sure that we have the correct brush settings. Something that looks like this. As you can see, this is a brush stroke that will not change its opacity and stuff like that. Like, let's say, compared to this one, you don't want to draw a line with this. So first of all, go to the brush setting, which is something like this in Photoshop or any other software you use. But we're only going to talk about Photoshop today. So first we go to brush tip shape. Just use any round brush, which is provided in all the Photoshop brush tools. So don't worry about that. Now spacing, put it to either no spacing or just the lowest possible spacing, which is 1%. Next we go to shape dynamic. Make sure size jitter is zero, mirror diameter zero, Everything here is zero. And here, make sure control is on pen pressure, meaning you pressing hard versus pressing lightly would produce these different effects, which may be important if you want to put emphasis on line weight. Make sure smoothing is on, and that's it. That's all you should know. Now make sure that opacity here is 100%, and this is not ticked, and this thing should be ticked. So as for the thickness, it totally depends on you. I like to just go with this thickness, but you can just go with a really, really thin line. It doesn't matter. But anyways, the next step is you want to draw your lines fast. So if you were to draw your lines slowly, I'm going to try to draw a straight line slowly. As you can see, this is not a straight line versus if I were to draw it really fast, like in one stroke. It will look much cleaner and I'm gonna zoom in and you'll see what I mean. Now that's slightly more exaggerated, but this is what will happen if you're trying to draw draw things slowly. And especially if you're trying to draw a curve. See these kind of artifacts will happen instead of you just doing this. So one thing is to make sure that you draw each stroke as confidently and as fast as possible. Secondly, you have to know how does your hand move. What I mean by that is what sort of arc that your hand prefers. So I'm a right-handed person. So what I like to do is that I like to use my either my wrist or my arm as a pivot point and just do this or this. And I don't prefer to do stuff like this because if you can imagine if this is where my, my elbow is or my wrist is, I would like to just rotate it like this instead of having to move my entire hand like this. So find that particular specific angle that you like. Maybe it's like this rather than this because it feels less comfortable. So find that and just tune it to however you want. So when you're working with a sketch and let's say this is the sketch that I have, you want to draw a line here. You might want to just rotate the canvas and just draw a line like this. Before you draw any line, you have to make sure that you have like a clean sketch. Most of the time, if you're starting out, make sure you have a clean sketch, or at least like you have a sketch to follow along. It can be simple, but as long as it allows you to follow along and gives you a basic idea on how the line should look, that's fine. So what you want to do usually is on top of the sketch layer, you want to add a new layer. And I'm going to use this as an example. And see, th this is like the first thing you have to know that in digital drawing, you can always control Z. Now, if you find any line that you're not satisfied with, you can always just control Z and start over. So you have that. And then the next thing is to basically continue the line. So there's no way, well, I mean, like you could, uh, you could try to draw uh, these uh, sharp curve or maybe like these hard long curves that might be hard in one stroke. So instead, don't do it in one stroke, do it in multiple strokes. So like here, one, two, or two. And then heck, even add a, add a third stroke if you feel comfortable that way. Now after that, what you need to do is basically just use your eraser tool and just erase the access. Another thing to improve a workflow in my opinion, is to don't restrict yourself to the sketch 100%. What I mean is, let's say this ear right here, 
you don't have to make it 100% to follow the ear right there. Heck, if you want to, you can just do something as simple as this. And as you can see, it doesn't really align with it. If you're happy with it, just stick with it, as long as it gets the idea done. Maybe not that big, but let's say something like this, and that's totally enough. It doesn't have to be completely 100% accurate as it is, see? Like this. Because the thing is, usually when you finish your line art, people zoom out. It will still be basically the same. You're not here to try to make a perfect sketch to line inking. So yeah, as long as it looks right overall, it's fine. So that's pretty much it. I guess that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. If it did help, maybe consider sharing it to a friend who might benefit from it. Like if you liked the video, dislike it if you disliked it, and comment down below on why. And while you're at it, feel free to comment on what you want to see in the future. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more future content like this. You can check out my other video on the screen right now and the end card. And as always, happy drawing.